Welcome. Ever feel like you just don't want to do anything or keep chasing a high that feels good when you do accomplish something? You might have a dopamine problem. <laughs> And that's what we're talking about in today's Tiny Tips. Tiny Tips to help you rewrite your brain, brain stories and rewire your brain so you could do more of the stuff you want to be doing. I'm Jocelyn, brain coach and brain utainer. And today's tip, mind your dopamine. What even is dopamine? Well, while only 0.0005% of your brain cells produce dopamine, this molecule has an outsized effect on motivation, mood, memory, learning, and creativity, even your perception of time. It's what gives you drive to go after and work hard for something that's really important to you. From small and tangible things mm, to the stuff you can only imagine. Take over the world. Dopamine triggers energy, enthusiasm, hope, a promise for a better future. But it also punishes us when mismanaged, leading to dopamine crashes and resentment when we don't get what we want or expect. Who says I can't? Because dopamine feels so good, we can tend to obsessively chase the high it gives. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. But the more we do that, the harder it becomes to scratch the itch, an effect that's most dramatic and easy to see in drug addiction. And I don't know why. We get into a cycle of always wanting more, never satiated. And this endless pursuit makes us increasingly agitated, less tolerant to pain. As Anna Lemke says in her book, Dopamine Nation, we lose the ability to tolerate even minor forms of discomfort. We can become totally incapable of enjoying the present moment. Part of the problem here is that dopamine suppresses what the molecule of more authors call here and now neurotransmitters, endorphins and ocannabinoids, serotonin. And that could throw the balance between wanting stuff and actually enjoying that stuff completely out of whack. I don't feel anything. Because when our motivation comes from only achieving or getting rewarded, we lose our intrinsic motivation, our innate desire to create or experience stuff we otherwise love. What's my motivation? In a study of young kids who like to draw, researchers found that promising these kids a reward decreased the amount of spontaneous drawing they did by almost half. I don't like you anymore. And a meta review of 128 studies concluded that external rewards have a substantially negative effect on intrinsic motivation. Now, what does all this mean really and what can we do about it? We don't want to get rid of dopamine. Without it, we can lose our will to put any effort into anything at all. It's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. But you can learn to regulate your own dopamine and reward pathways by the stories you tell yourself. Brain stories. As Dr. Andrew Huberman says, This is a system that exists in your mind. You can tell yourself the effort part is the good part. And what's beautiful about it is that it starts to become reflexive for all types of effort. Or in the words of Alan Watts, the real secret of life is to be completely engaged in what you're doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, realize it's play. And you can train your brain how to see it that way. Play, play with, with your, your thoughts. dopamine. Does petting kitties release dopamine in their brains? Pet me, give me some dopamine. If you want to get a taste of a brain reframing exercise you can do on your own to tell better brain stories, create more of what you want, just head to betterbrainstories.com.